Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today uh, I'm going to teach you how to use Dapper and uh, uh, current operation of Dapper in uh, ASP.NET Core. Okay, so uh, first of all, just open your SQL Server Management Studio and create a simple class that is students. And how to create a table uh, in a SQL Server Management Studio that is very simple. Just create a new table. And here we have the design of the table that is the ID and the name. That is ID is the type of integer and the name is the type of an variable type of character that is 50. Okay. So here we have uh, some data in a table uh, that is the student table. And here we have some data. So here we have a table uh, that is the student and uh, here we have some data in this table that is at the top 200 rows. So here we have a data and just I want to use this table uh, in uh, in SQL Server Management stu uh, in uh, Visual Studio. So just create a new MVC based application and here we have just create a new model that is student first of all that is public student ID and the name okay and this uh, that is the DTO you can say that or you can say that that is a view model okay now uh, on that uh, view model just uh, add a connection string in the app settings for session file and here we have the session file is uh, connection string default connection server local dbms sql local db database is like that trusted connection and multiple active visual sets after that, uh, you can just register it in the program.cs file, looking like that. So here we have a builder.services.atransient and uh, just you can use idb connection, options dot, options equals to new SQL connection, builder.configuration.get connection string and the connection string name is the default connection. Okay, so here we have a connection string name that is the default connection. Okay, now uh, just after that, you can just go to builder.configuration.get connection string. Okay, and here we have a IDB connection. That is the part of the dapper. Okay, so just you can use a uh, package that is references pack uh, that is dapper, and also you can just add the new package that is system.data.sql client. And in the program.cs file, here we have a IDB connection that is actually existing in the system.data that is namespace and here we have a new SQL connection that is existing in the system.data.sql file. Okay, so here we have a connection string that is default, default connection in the existing in the app settings.json file. Now uh, in the controller section just use uh, IDB connection. So here we have a controller that is students controller and here we have a private IDB connection context and there is not a DB context. There is not a part of, uh, uh, you can say, uh, it's it's not a part of your um, entity framework. It's a part of Dapper. So that is the instance name only. So here we have a connect, uh, context or uh, initialize in the dependency injection. And in the index, just get students and context.query in the student and in which you can just pass stored position name that is get students. And here we have a stored procedures that is the stored procedure get students insert students and uh, and many more. Just refresh it uh, the DB and you will you will get that the old uh, the stored procedures. Okay, so here we have a stored procedure name that is the parameters and the command type is the stored procedure. So just uh, after that get all the students similarly we have the create and the create post and in the create button uh, in the create post here we have a dynamic parameters like that and just add that dynamic parameter in the form of uh, student dot name in the type of db dot db type dot string and here we have the parameters and insert the students just i want to get only the name in the insert parameter similarly id uh, on the basis of uh, the insert here we have to call the dapper that is execute okay and the similarly uh, if you want to get the item from the database then you can use query first or default if you want to get single item from that database table so here we have the student so get by id and just pass 
uh, it into the view section okay and here we have a dynamic parameters in the form of the id so these are a database that is student and here we have these are uh, programmatically and here we have stored procedures and these are the stored procedures so wait for some time it's expanding and the next one is a http get uh, http edit post that is the student and here we have two parameters that is id and the name so execute update statement with the parameter and the command type is stored procedure okay so everything is fine now that is the controller and here we have a uh, these are stored procedure get by id get student insert student and update student you can just add a single stored procedure to get all these things okay and after that you will uh, just call it https and you will get that uh, that is the quickly response instead of entity framework so you can use Dever uh, if you are uh, use microservices so just you can use Dever okay so okay so here we have the students and index and just after that these are the names and just I want to create uh, John the name so here we have the John just I want to edit it John Smith the name so just save this John Smith okay so everything is fine now just I want to delete this part so just uh, delete the ID number six so you can just uh, use a new query and create a stored procedure for that lead create procedure procedure name delete student that is the procedure name and as a id on the basis of the id just i want to delete it so integer and as begin and delete from students and you can say that delete from the students and where id is at the rate of id that is the parameter so the parameter is name is like looking like that and this after that and the stored procedure so just you can use and after that you can use delete student here okay no and in the context just you can use so stop this stop procedure and here you can just use http get and public injection result delete user id and here you can just use uh, directly you can use context dot uh, execute and in which you can just pass the stored procedure name delete student and the parameters and the value of the parameters dynamic parameters and the parameters dot add id and id and db type dot in 32 so here you can just use parameters and uh, start procedure and you can say that command type it's a type of command type dot start procedure so everything is fine now after that you can just use return redirect to action index so save this and you will say that the every item will be deleted if you just call a delete method on the basis of the id so that is the part of the service that is the part of the dapper you can use it in your project and to just get it uh, anywhere everything okay
So wait for some time, it will be uh, run after a few seconds and you will get the output result. Okay, so here we have the results index and just I want to delete the challenge. Everything is fine. Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET